Hi there, my name is Amir Ginsberg. I'm a specialist in internal medicine and chairman of Trillium's Medical Quality of Care Committee. This short talk is the first in an educational series about patient safety. I'm going to try to outline the fundamental concepts that guide us in our pursuit of the highest standards for quality and safe care. If you want to take a closer look at some of the information in the accompanying slides, please pause this video at any time. Consider this statement, caution, hospitals may be hazardous to your health. Is this really true? Well, in 1999, the Institute of Medicine in the United States examined this issue in depth. They commissioned a report to Air is Human, and they found that medical errors were a leading cause of death. They resulted in about 50,000 to 100,000 deaths per year in the United States. So with that number in mind, healthcare is slightly safer than bungee jumping and mountain climbing, but our industry is far from being as safe as commercial airline travel or European railroads. And so the Institute of Medicine report put things in this perspective. 100,000 lives lost as a result of healthcare adverse events is the same as a large passenger airplane dropping out of the sky every day, 365 days a year. We would not stand for this in the airline industry, so why should we in healthcare? And that's when patient safety became a national and subsequently an international priority. The Canadian experience is actually not that different. The landmark Canadian Adverse Events Study revealed that 1 in 13 patients admitted to hospital experience an adverse event. And these events result from medical care that patients receive in hospital, and not from the illnesses that bring them in. So what is patient safety? It is defined as the reduction and mitigation of unsafe acts within the healthcare system through the use of best practices shown to lead to optimal patient outcomes. Why do these unsafe acts happen in healthcare? The short answer is that our industry relies on people, and all human beings make mistakes. This table shows the probability of making mistakes during various tasks. Simple arithmetic has an error probability of 3%. So you can imagine the hundreds of medication dose calculations that happen each day in a modern hospital. Some of these calculations might be incorrect. The good news is that the vast majority of our human errors will be caught by various layers of protection systems and will not reach patients or cause an adverse event. In the so-called Swiss cheese model, these protection systems are the cheese. But no system is perfect and there are all, always a few holes. For an error to reach the patient and cause an adverse event, all the holes need to line up. All of us, including healthcare workers, eventually become healthcare consumers. So if you are a patient, what can you do to help prevent adverse events? Here are some tips. Tell your healthcare team about your past illnesses, current health status, and if you have any allergies. Bring all your medications with you to the hospital. Ask a family member or a friend to be your advocate, advisor, or supporter. Wash your hands, and don't be afraid to ask your healthcare professional to wash their hands too. It's your health, so please be involved. You are the center of the healthcare team. Participate in all decisions about your treatment. And absolutely speak up if you have any questions or concerns about your care. If something doesn't feel right, don't just think it, say it. And here are some tips for healthcare workers. Put safety at the top of your priorities. Enhance your communication with other team members. Adopt a fair and open culture. Be honest with patients and your colleagues. Report adverse events, near misses, or any safety concerns so that others can learn from your experience. Lead by example and reinforce safe work practices. And get involved in quality improvement and patient safety projects. At Trillium we have an organizational culture that is committed to quality and safety and which fosters accountability and improvements from the board to the bedside. Our culture is supported by a healthy workplace and distributive leadership. We are recognized nationally and beyond as a high-performing healthcare system. Our goal is to deliver the highest standard of quality and safe care to all patients all the time. The remaining videos in this series will outline some examples of the work that we're doing to attain this critically important goal.